the one. He's passing the one eighteen point off. Command uh, to control. Command, you got rescue cam and staging. That's the time, QSO. QSO. Come on, location, please. Hello. Right in the Tampa shipyard. That's affirmative. Affirmative. R O Y S T E R. QSO. something residual there. Or it may have been used for something that we don't know of. Yeah. Or it may not even be the spot at right. all. Right. Right. And that's the problem. That's the big problem. Uh, 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 several right plants and right businesses in the area, right. area and they all claim no no problems. And gay tax is the same. No problems. Uh, but doesn't the fact that the leak isn't really obvious suggest it's a pretty small one? That would suggest that to me, yes. Yeah. Oh, guys, didn't get a chance. And it would suggest that it was airborne and carried across the Tampa ship area and has dissipated because we do not find any other residual propagating type of, of cloud from anywhere. 
Yeah, I, I just got a nice study of cryptic beeperees. It says they have located source, do not know where. I assume that means my people don't know where, but somebody's found it. <laughs> well, uh, we got a yeah. new updated 31. Okay. First two, we're training them by. That's a permanent easier move. Retransported -trans -tran the ECH QS. Pouring gas this afternoon. Uh, this is really early this evening. Here at Tampa Ship and Dry Dock area at the port of Tampa here. Just a few minutes ago, we understand that Tampa firefighters using specially highly sensitive meters located the leak, and that's an empty warehouse, an old shrimp processing plant where this uh, chlorine was stored. Joe, we Fire can't understand anything at all. I suggest you kill air and give us cues. Give me that 11 St. Joe. Uh, Stan, we're overcome with what firefighters are calling a chlorine gas leak here at the Tampa Ship and Dry Dock area at the uh, Port of Tampa. Just a few minutes ago, we understand that Tampa firefighters using especially uh, highly sensitive meters located the leak, the chlorine leak, and that's an empty warehouse, an old shrimp processing plant, which uh, they suspect uh, is the source of this chlorine. Now, a fire spokesman uh, just told me that uh, that there are now, uh, they are now getting slight readings of chlorine on their meetings, but no heavy concentrations. About 20 people complained that they were could not breathe, and they are at the local hospitals. We understand they are not seriously injured. But with me now live is uh, Division Fire Chief Matt Balaban, who might be able to clarify how are their injuries up to Tim, we've had six individuals of the 31 of the transport with uh, serious respiratory is, uh, the others, we would say, were probably mild, moderate. Uh, no unconscious patients or anybody in a code situation, but uh, six we would classify as, as having been in a heavier concentration in the Davis Island is right across from the board here. Any danger to residents in that area from this uh, building? At this moment in time, we don't see any. We've, we've not been able to discover any large cloud of chlorine or any other gas. That's what the mystery is at the we're attempting to find exactly what location the initial gas has it on the rock. We're getting ducked on the other side of the shrimp processing facility. Well, we believe that to be the case. That's the only facility in the area that we've been able to find that may have uh, had some type of boring ammonia within its confines. Our hazardous materials personnel using some detection meters have been able to discover some residual or mild readings in that area, but no large clouds of it or anything in heavy concentration. Fire Chief uh, Matt Bellavan, thank you very much. We'll be standing by live here at the scene of the Port of Tampa to bring you the latest on this glory and lead. Frank Kelly.
about that tank of three on. Uh, what do you think about that? Three on. Would that, have, would that have similar effects to chlorine? Now, uh, Freon released in just in the air like that's going to be pretty Hold innocuous. On, Hold it. Pretty what? It's going to be innocuous and it'd be heated. But even then, it's not going to do that. I know when we, get, when we were by that truck. Remember that truck? Remember your cave. Remember when we were by that truck and our uh, yeah. 31 s yeah. lime blue? Yeah. And we got a winner that we want that. Well, this guy, when I that I picked up, told me that he got one whiff of that stuff, and he said his throat started to burn. That's when he started to run. We definitely had a chlorine. I can smell when I came up. There's definitely chlorine in that building. We just haven't found where it came from. Do y'all need to do anything else? I think so. Fire the lights. Where's the other dirty thing? Yeah. Fire the lights. We're in there. Well, then it's coming. Is it? Is it basically empty, empty, or is it processing stuff around? There's. This is trash. Yeah. 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 Yeah.